Oh boy, am I excited for this one. Part two? Part two. Let's do part two of Cut Team Start. Y'all seem to enjoy it. Well, you know what? I just hope, you know I'm worried about? What? I'm worried about, you know how sequels never do as good as the first. Yeah. All right. But Major League Two is pretty good. Major League Two is outstanding. <laughs> so let's try that. Be sure to... Did they, did they put their suggestions in the comments? Yeah, I'm pretty sure last time you told them to stop the video before you told them what they were doing. <laughs> Listen, you saw the last video, so put in the comments section uh, who no, your No, it wasn't. No, it was it was the if you got rid of somebody, who would you bring in? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you've been gone for too long. Cut team start. Coming at you. <laughs> After you smash that subscribe button, go over to sportscaster.com where you will see us every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. All right, so in the comments section, uh, if you guys have players that you want to know, post the preseason and we don't get to them. Uh, put the player that you want to know uh, in Cut Team Start or give us your take on uh, Cut Team Start. So I'm going to start. Are you ready? Coming in hot, TJ Yeldon. Cut, team, or start? Cut. Okay. Now, that's different than the last time, as best I recall, right? Yes. Okay, so what? what's so different from the I don't think we talked about time? Yeldon last time. I thought we did. Did I don't we think say team? I, we yeah, I think he made the team. I think that, uh, you know, we talk about guys that are on the bubble. Mm -hmm. um, because of the timing of when he was signed, two days before the draft, the fact that they were able to get Devin Singletary, mm -hmm. the fact that he, he has seemed to be non-existent in, in camp, and I don't know if that's because they know what his capabilities are and they're like, listen, we know how we're going to use you. Right. Just rest up. Right. Or they're just like, listen, we got all these moving parts now. The rosters are at 90. We you know, we got nothing for you. But then you go in the preseason game and you fumble. Uh -huh. that, Big if, mistake. If you didn't have a target on you, you got a target on you right now. Big mistake. Because they're so deep at the position, I think, unfortunately, although I'd like to have him on the team, I think, unfortunately, he gets cut. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. All right, your turn. Russell Bodine. Cut. Are you kidding me? I'm not giving you a softball like that. <laughs> All right, you ready? No. David Sills. We did this one, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Cut. You're still cutting him. Cut in practice squad. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I just think that because of the depth you have a wide receiver, uh, the way that you're going to try to – he's not there yet physically. Yep. You don't want to expose a kid like that physically and then – you know, try to try to ruin what he's got. I, I like the skill set that he possesses. However, I think you just need to work with him a little bit more. Cutting him and putting him on the practice squad is risky. I understand that, but you don't want to take away, take up a you don't want to take up a roster spot of a developmental player like that. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you there. And with the volume of guys that you are waving, if he gets picked up, there's other players that you're waving at the wide receiver position that you could sign to the practice squad. I mean, it's not. You're not looking at anything crazy here, right? So um, that, honestly, it, the wording from camp, and he's just not looking good. You know, making a lot of mistakes, just not looking good. So I'm, I'm with you on there. I, I think he's a cut now, and you're just looking to put him on the practice squad. Things just haven't gone. I, it, the reviews haven't been sparkling on okay. David Sills. You're going to have to be careful. Okay. Okay. Dean Marlowe. Oh! <laughs> he had a pick, you know. I know he had a pick. <laughs> oh, I saw it. I know you love Dean Marlowe. I do. I know. I know. My two favorite players are Starla Tule and Dean Marlowe. What's wrong with me? <laughs> you have low standards. <laughs> Listen, that safety room is pretty strong. They uh, really yeah. like Jaquan Johnson. They do. They really like him. And uh, Marlo can drop down and play box safety for you. He can do it. He's big enough. Well, Marlo? Yeah. Yeah. He could drop down and play that nickel ball, nickel linebacker role, but that's really where they're going to keep Deion Lacey because Lacey is – that he just gives you a little bit more flexibility in that regard. I think Lacey's a little bit of a better football player than Marlo. What? 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 You want Eddie? Okay. All right. Deion Lacey. Cut. <laughs> Nobody's making this team. <laughs> All right, so why why are you saying 
I think yeah, for the reason you just gave, how crowded it is, and Lacey was one of the first guys they signed, and we know that because they like to double down, like you yeah. said. Uh, but because of the talent you were able to acquire, you like to bring guys into your program, you like to develop guys in your program, Lacey being one of those guys, I, I think they just they want to do something different. And the only reason he'll make the team is if these guys don't develop as fast as they want them to mm-hmm. and they'll put them on the practice squad. But I think because of what you've seen, um, it, I mean, you've seen uh, – Johnson and, and uh, Terrell Dodson having 12 combined tackles in the first mm-hmm. preseason game, although they did play a lot, they seem like they're getting it. Mm-hmm. And the faster they get it, the, the worse it's going to be for guys like like uh, like Lacey and um, who else am I trying to think of? There was two guys that were kind of like on the bubble. It was Lacey and someone else. Uh, I don't know if it was a linebacker or a safety. Can't help you here. We didn't talk about this. Neil. Sorry, Neil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lacey and Neil. I think Lacey and Neil are kind of in the same boat where they're trying to fight off these younger guys. Yeah. And they're not old, though. No. That's the problem. Like, no. they're like, okay, all right, all these guys are coming in. But I think they they could make the team if these young guys don't pick it up as okay. fast as they're picking it up, but they are. Yeah. So, what, it's one, one preseason game. Let's just pump the brakes. So, I will have to go back to you. Yeah. Isaiah McKenzie. Cut. What? Yeah, I know. Andre Roberts taking snaps with the ones. Uh, tells you all you need to know about Isaiah McKenzie making this football team. Is he your poster child for good enough for 6 and 10s, not good enough for trying to make a playoff? Exactly. Playoff? I mean, listen, he wasn't on the roster week one. Isaiah McKenzie was picked up off of waivers from the Broncos. Like, it's just, this is. Do you want to know the irony of yeah. what you're saying? What? Do you remember the. Uh, and you guys will probably remember this. Remember the, the, the video I made with the with the Avengers? Yes. And I cut a bunch of things into it? Yeah. In there, <laughs> it's just I, it just, I don't know why it popped into my head just now because we were talking about McKenzie. Chris Evans, well, uh, Captain America says, I keep telling everyone they should move on. And, and the clip, clip of that of, is McKenzie, McKenzie running the ball. <laughs> Kenzie last year was great because they were able to give him the ball behind the line of scrimmage. He was their gadget guy. Yes. Right? But you you Because McLeod was hurt. Right, but you've added enough of those at this point. Yeah. So uh, McKenzie's days are numbered in in my opinion. All right, Patrick DeMarco. Say it. Say it. Well, I'm start. Actually, yeah, yeah. Start at the fullback position, if that's still H-back. a thing. H back, still a thing. H back. Yeah. Because of the. <laughs> because Why do I of feel what... like I'm watching the mask too. <laughs> <laughs> because of all of the injuries that have happened to the tight end position and how they're going to have to move guys around and all this other stuff, they're starting to move Demarco all over the place. He he does have a high football IQ, which is the, the he has the ability to do all that stuff. Mm. And he plays special teams, and he's your captain, and he's a bunch of other things. We don't know the locker room presence of this guy. He could be, like, one of the best locker room guys that you have in there. Yeah. Um, and this is one of the reasons why they got him, you yep. know? So I think he starts at fullback. I think he starts at maybe a couple other positions, too. I think you flex him around. Uh, and that's uh, that's going to be something that the Bills are going to do this year. Although we did be the first to admit it, we did say – DeMarco's gone. Why do they even have a fullback? You know, I, we said it. Yep. I said what I said. Yep. Not afraid to, not afraid to admit that, but he just, they just don't, they just want him. They just, they, they think there's a spot for him. Better be ready. Lafayette Pitts. He looked bad. He looked so bad. He had one pass breakup. And In I'm the not end even zone, sh- Yeah. The rest of the game, he was bad. I said as soon as he, he was did that. very bad. That pass break up in the end zone, as soon as I saw it, I said, listen, Hilton doesn't drop that mm-hmm. if Hilton's in there. Like, no. No. He didn't really even punch the ball out. One of the early signings of this team. Yep. As your insurance. Yep. But no. continue. No. He's he's a cut, in my opinion. You're, the only way Lafayette Pitts makes this team is if they cut EJ Gaines. He's hurt, right? He's hurt right now, which is kind of 
par for the course with EJ Gaines, you right? Knew it. Yeah, you knew that. You knew that coming in. He was going. It was. It was just a matter of time before he got hurt. But um, I think EJ Gaines buys a little bit of favor, and I don't think Lafayette Pitts gets picked up off of waivers. So does he uh, have practice squad? Pitts. Um, he might. He you got to be might. on it for three. Years. You only get three years of practice squad, right? Well, you only get two players who have had two years of or more. experience, okay. right? No, two years. That's it. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. 16, 17, 18, not practice squad eligible. Deuces. You ready? Daryl Johnson. That's a tough one. It is. It tells you a lot when they <sighs> trade guys away to get other guys more snaps. Like they traded Eli Harold away because they didn't need somebody taking snaps away from Daryl Johnson, in my opinion. So I'm, I, I got to hear what you what you say about Daryl Johnson. Uh, this is going to sound really stupid, mm-hmm. but hey, I've said that before. He is the defensive equivalent, although further along than Kenny Stills, or uh, not Kenny Stills. What the hell, David Sills? I'm such an idiot. Okay. Um, he's a little bit further along, but because of the developmental factor, like he needs to frame out first. Yeah. And I think Love has the edge up on him just okay. from experience. Okay. And he does have practice squad eligibility. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. that being said. Seventh round pick this year. Yes, exactly. Um, but the thing is that he was a seventh rounder. So, right. you already have a four-year controllable deal on him. Right. Why would you want to cut him and do that? Well, uh, the I want to say team. I want to say team. I want to say team. Well, Mar, think about it this way. If you cut him. And put him on the practice squad. Then he's just on a one-year deal again, and then he becomes an exclusive rights free agent, I know, but, then a restricted free yeah, agent. Yeah, but you have him, and maybe the, the Bills thought this financially, like, hey, we have him for four years right now. You have him for four years, regardless. No matter what, ha- no, no matter what happens with the new CBA, you never know. Mm-hmm. After next That's year, true. something could go. Something That's could. true. So we have him for four years now, or we could cut him and take the risk of having him for only two years, and we think it's going to be longer than two years to develop him. That could be a little wrinkle in there. I want to say team, but I don't want to also be a prisoner of the moment. Okay. So while I like what the kid brings, it, it was the Colts, and that's not, I shouldn't say that. That's, but it's the Colts, and he played quite a bit, and he was doing a bunch of stuff. I understand it. The fact that he was able to pick things up that he was asked to do, I like. Mm-hmm. All right? So... His, his third team capabilities is better than the Colts third team capabilities if, yeah, if that means right. anything but I want to say team but I don't want to be a prisoner moment what do you got so I look at it this way right you bring up a great point that you could run the risk of losing him post CBA because you don't really know what the new CBA is going to contain so I, I think I like your point there um, the one thing I will say is that I don't think the defensive end position is one where you can sacrifice um, you could sacrifice development right now Right, so if we look at the defensive end position, I think it's probably one of the weaker positions on the team. So can you really afford to develop somebody right now? If you're talking about developing a cornerback, go ahead. Right, I'm okay with you developing a cornerback. You want to keep somebody on the roster who's going to play some special teams for you. You don't really want to get him snaps at cornerback. If you have to play him, you can. Johnson fits in that category for me right now, and I just don't think you could do that at defensive end with the way the team's set up. Right, because you have Shaq Lawson on a one-year deal, right? And then what do you got after that? You got Trent Murphy, Murphy who's a, t- a ticking time bomb. Murphy for two more yeah, years. Yeah, but t- Murphy's a time bomb. Um, You're, if you put if you put Daryl Johnson on this roster, he is going to have to play. And that will be the best development for him. Playing, you don't think? I think I he just, needs to fill out more. I I think you cut him and put him on the practice squad. Uh, That's what I think. I, 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 I think just, you cut him and put him on the practice squad. It's squatting. too intriguing. Like I said, it's too intriguing to have him guaranteed for four years and not knowing what the CBA is going to have if you have to develop I don't, just don't think that's a big enough risk. Yeah. Because you can, so you're, you're going to start you love? St- yeah. yeah. Well, he's your fourth DN. He's the fourth DN. Okay. Uh, I'm not, not hateful. What happens to Yarborough? Oh, man. It's so hard because we were talking about these. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, since you hammered my heartstrings with Marlo, Zay Jones. Okay. Um, yeah. So about Zay Jones. <laughs> so about um, that. <laughs> so about that. Um, you got to catch the football, man. 
Like, come on. Come on. You had a nice little toe tapper along the sideline. You you built, you know, you came into wide open coverage. They dropped off on you. You're wide open. You caught the ball. Congratulations. But, my God, man, you got to catch the football. You, you have to catch the football. That, that was your opportunity. That's right there. You have to bring that pass in if you want to make this team. So I didn't catch it. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What? Did you cut him? Am I cutting Zay Jones? I'm I'm cutting Zay Jones. You're cutting Zay Jones. I'm cutting Zay Jones. I'm tired. He's not dependable. He's not dependable. No, and that's taking into the fact and that's taking into account that Robert Foster ran the wrong route three times in that preseason game. He left Barkley out to dry three times in that preseason game running the wrong routes. I'm way more willing to take Robert Foster doing the wrong thing than doing Zay Jones doing the right thing but not catching the football. I'll take Robert Foster over that. That's fine. I'll take Foster. Mm. I, Zay Jones, I, I can't do wow. it. I can't do it anymore. Wow. It was at the goal line. It was there. You put him, he, he, he came in, he made a business decision. He was looking at the safety. Did you borrow Adam Gase's smelling salts? <laughs> so you're, you're telling me you're keeping Zay Jones? Yes. Oh. Because I'm getting rid of Foster. Oh my God! You're gonna caught Robert Foster. Yeah. I'm gonna Why? Robert Foster. For the reason he ran three <laughs> wrong routes. <laughs> he left Barkley out to dry. He did. He left Barkley out to dry. You're in the second year of this offense. Technically, you of all people are in the third year of this offense. Yeah. Because you, yeah. you were at with with him in Alabama. Yeah. So you're either running wrong routes because you know you can't get cut. Or you're not paying attention, or you're not focused. I have a feeling it's a focus issue with him. There, there is something going on with him where he did phenomenal last year. All the talent in the world. Uh-huh. What have we said about these Alabama running back, uh, running back, yeah. these Alabama players? All the talent in the world, but their focus, they lose focus because no one's going to be more disciplined than Saban in the NFL. The only guy who's that disciplined is Belichick. Uh-huh. So when they come into the pros, they're probably like, "Hey, I'm getting paid now." A little less than I was at Alabama, but no, it just slid right by you. Nope, love that joke. You're just not reacting. I know. To it. I just agree with you. <laughs> that all intertwined w- with it. It could be a focus issue, so that's why. Like, listen, you can't do that stuff for the same reason. You're gonna you're gonna get rid of Jones because he, that ball at the end zone you should have had. Blah blah blah. If you run the wrong route, you're not even getting the ball. Mm-hmm. Why are you running the wrong route? You don't know what you're doing. You, I haven't had enough reps in, in camp. Yeah, BS, dude. You played the last, like, seven games last year. Well, he was put out there to be the number one on the second squad. That's what his job was, was to be the number one in, in so squad. this today. is his reaction to it? Instead yeah. of fighting and trying to get back in, you're going to yeah. run the wrong route because Didn't you're upset? Well. Didn't go well. Yeah, I think that's a, that's an attitude problem. I yeah. I don't know. I'm not in the room. I'm just guessing. Yeah. But I'm cutting him. I don't think that's a bad cut. I don't think that's a bad move at all. It's Roar! It's Roar! <laughs> so, um, who do we miss? Do we miss anybody? I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure Hashtag Nation will come up with a bunch of guys that we missed. Uh, if we missed anybody, put it in the comments. We'll get back to you on it. They're fine. No, they'll be fine right now. Okay. okay. All right. Um, yeah, if we missed anybody, let us know. Um, put, your, uh, put your take in the comment section. Anything you want to know? Uh, anything you want to hear? Episode two of Cut Start Team. Boy, we're cutting everybody. Damn. Well, we, they don't. They don't go it's through like the, a butcher shop in here. <laughs> they don't go through the progressions that they used to. With oh, we're going to cut the team down to seventy-five, then sixty-three, yeah, now fifty-three. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, we're not talking about you know Tyree Jackson. I, I don't care whether he makes the team or not. We talked about him last time. We did. We did. Cut. Do it. Cut. I didn't see anything telling me he should stay. Christian Wade, go. Oh, I forgot about Christian Wade. 